<laughs> What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Oshpad 1412. Excited to be back with some more Madden 17 gameplay on the Xbox One. Got some Draft Champions gameplay for you guys. As you can see, this is my squad. And this was one of those games where um, I had to grind it. I already had to grind this one out, but that don't mean that I win. It don't mean that I lose either, but I don't mean that I win. But I had to kind of uh, you know, put on my big boy pants, so to speak. Um, tell me what you think about my squad. If you guys um, you know, want to have a comment on my squad here for as far as draft champions, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think it's a pretty good squad. I like it. But my opponent has the Dallas Cowboys jerseys. I got the Redskins jerseys. It's interesting that we have these two particular jerseys, being though they are in the same um, division. So I kind of thought that was kind of neat <laughs> in the same breath. But as you can see, he's starting off pretty good, man. He's getting down the field passing-wise, a little bit of running-wise. Runs out here a little big. It's a nice little run right here with the quarterback. I believe that is, um, I want to say Phillip Rivers, but don't quote me on either Phillip Rivers or um, the boy from Miami. I can't think of his name. That's Emmett Smith. It's a beautiful run right there. Way to see the whole, kind of like the real Emmett Smith in real life. One thing that Emmett Smith that kind of doesn't get enough credit for is for being an intelligent running back. He did a good job of um, finding the hole. Because there's one thing to, you know, to have the hole, but you also got to be able to find it. Uh, to, you know, it's two totally um, different aspects of being a running back. I know a little bit because I did play running back a little bit when I was playing football when I was younger. But anyway, my opponent throws an off pass right here, overthrows, and I end up getting the interception right there with Julius Peppers. Um, Julius Peppers doesn't do a lot in this segment, you know, <laughs> you know that, well, of course. Um, I wish he would do more, but at least he did get that interception to get the first down right there, sneaking that one in on the third and 20. Keeping the chains moving, score still 0-0. Zero to zero. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what I can do to get down the field. I have Le'Veon Bell in the backfield. I got Rob Gronkowski at tight, tight end. A couple good receivers. Um, Tony Romo, I think it's a 92 overall at quarterback. That should have been an interception right there. I got lucky that got batted down. I decided to go for it on 4 for 8. I was very confident, and I ended up getting sacked right there. That hurt because it gave my opponent outstanding field position, and he was already moving the ball on me pretty well. Uh, I just went for that one because I, I was very, very confident. Well, I wasn't extremely confident about that one. I would have definitely pointed that you guys know me. I got lucky right there. Yeah, he dropped that, and he did get a penalty for illegal passing over the line of scrimmage. So, 4 for 17 to and take the field goal and doesn't make it. Look at that. Doesn't even make the field goal. So the score is still 0-0. Zero zero. So now you're probably thinking to yourself, Launchpad, what are you talking about as far as um, grinding it out? You know, it doesn't like you have to grind much because the score is still 0-0. Zero zero. still a tied ball game. But keep in mind, you know, we still got a whole game left. It's only the middle of the second quarter. Bottom of the second quarter, I go to the right-hand side. I find, I guess they key it out. I believe that is... Um, Alshon Jeffries, don't quote me on that. I can't remember what quarterback I got right there, but look at this. I ended up throwing an interception. I believe I threw that off the back leg. That was my fault right there. I didn't mean to um, throw it off the back leg. I, I don't like when they step back like that. And I actually thought that um, my man had a step on him, but obviously he did because he picked it off. And I ended up getting the first points of the ball game, but even though he misses the field goal. So the score is 6 to nothing. I feel good he missed the field goal. So I'm feeling really good. So I'm trying to go deep right here to see if I can, you know, make something happen. But I don't make anything happen right there. I try to play I normally don't use um, in that playbook. You know, when you do draft champions, you know, you're unfamiliar with the playbook. So, um... You know, I tried some a play that I wasn't familiar with. Ended up getting it picked off. It happens as he gets a beautiful pass right there and gets in range to kick a field goal. And he actually misses this one. I'm like, man, he didn't already miss two, three. <laughs> three isn't asked for much, is it? But I guess it was because he ended up making it, man. So it's halftime right here with down nine. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I'm thinking to myself that I'm better than this guy. I made a couple mistakes. I'm going to have to grind this one out. It's only four-minute quarters. So I have to make these next two drives count. I got to get a score right here, obviously. I got to stop him and get another score. I know that's obvious, but sometimes you got to say obvious things to yourself to, um, you know, to get the results. So that's what I'm telling myself. i like, come on, LP, you know, you're better. Just, just try to come back and grind it out. You know, get that 10 to 9 lead and let's see what happens. So let's see if, if I can do, um, you know, what I'm talking about, fourth and inches. Sometimes fourth and inches is one of the most annoying. As I sneak that pass in there, yeah, it's one of the most annoying <laughs> uh, downs. Um, in Madden history to me, right? Like, I'd rather, I really think I'd rather not get a fourth and eight and then get a fourth and inches and not get it because it's only one inch to go. Sometimes you can quarterback sneak on this game and not get it. I'm like, man, you got to be kidding me, man. Some other people really do got defense for the quarterback sneakers. I take a field goal right here, making the score nine to three. So I'm feeling pretty good right there. I actually get some points on the board after not scoring in the first half. So I'm feeling pretty good. But since turn to burn, let's see what he can do. You know, third down to nine, drops back. 
I don't think anyone's open right here. Uh, I think he notices that too, so he threw it out of bounds right there. You know, good job by him on throwing that away. I think if he would have threw that, he probably would have got picked off or something. But I I'd rather throw it away than get picked off and get my opponent, you know, outstanding uh, <laughs> field position. Look at that spin. Whoa, whoa. Okay, LPI and Keith. <laughs> you know, getting a nice little spin right there. But, you know, it didn't amount to a couple yards. Look at this, your boy. Getting a break tackle right there. Getting a nice game right there. I, I said, after a while, you know, the, the tide... The tide has to split eventually as far as um, when you have a running back like Le'Veon Bell. Eventually, them holes have got to start to open. So, I keep feeling Le'Veon Bell, Plash, and Fate, we go to the right-hand side. and we get a touchdown, we take the lead. Yes. I'm feeling outstanding, but I can't cheer too much. It's under two minutes left, and look at the and look at the score. It's 10-9. to 9, I'm up. And this guy has been doing a pretty good job of, of driving the ball on me. This is four down territory. He will go for it on fourth down if necessary. Uh, I haven't really been stopping him too much, so I, I got to come up, you know, with, with a play here or something to solidify his game. But he gets a huge third and 16 conversion right there. I'm like, man, you've got to be kidding me. And at this point in the game, I'm like, man, am I going to lose? I, I just I don't mind losing. You know, we all lose, but I just don't want to lose to anyone that I know I'm better than this. Look at this. He gets within field goal range. First down, 10 decides to throw it, and it's your boy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. There was no reason for him to throw the ball right here. He had first and ten. All he had to do was run it. And he would have been fine. But he ends up throwing the interception. I decided to jump to, to do a little celebrate. I know I don't normally celebrate, but I just did a little celebrate because I was kind of hyped. And he did celebrate on me early when he got his touchdown. His pick six. But, man, wow, what a game right there, man. What a way to end that. And then he quit. I couldn't believe he quit. Your boy. <laughs> 